Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Thanks so much for joining us. This weekend in theaters all across the country, Brian Cranston is starring in the big screen biopic Trumbo, based on the life of Dalton Trumbo, the prolific screenwriter whose career included Academy Awards and major respect from peers and critics, as well as some time spent in jail for standing up for his political beliefs during that notorious Hollywood blacklist era of the late 40s and early 50s. Right now, we're going to bring you a pair of films with screenplays by Dalton Trumbo, one written by him before his life was thrown into chaos by the House Un-American Activities Committee, and another that he wrote while on the Hollywood blacklist, which kept him from working under his real name. We're going to begin with Kitty Foyle from Archeo Radio Pictures in 1940, adapted by Trumbo from a book by Christopher Morley, which had become one of the best-read books of the time. So Trumbo's challenge was turning a story, which was adored by a major portion of the population, into a film which would satisfy all comers. Now, the first screenplay for Kitty Foyle had actually been written by Donald Ogden Stewart, who stuck very closely to the storyline in the book. But that screenplay was ultimately declared unshootable because it involved many aspects of morality not allowed to even be discussed on screen in those days. Things like premarital sex, having children out of wedlock, and an abortion. So Trumbull was brought in to do a rewrite and make it shootable. He eventually was given sole credit as a screenwriter, although you'll notice there is a notation, additional dialogue by Donald Ogden Stewart. The finished film became one of the most popular movies of the year, bringing Trumbo an Oscar nomination, and particularly thrilling for Ginger Rogers, bringing her the Academy Award as the best actress in 1940. After seven years of Ginger being primarily known as Fred Astaire's dancing partner. So from 1940, also with Dennis Morgan, James Craig, and the wonderful Gladys Cooper, Kitty Foyle. 